Cotton Cattle Railroads and Closing the Texas Frontier, Unit 8 Assessment. Number one, based on the information in the map, which trail was used first? Chisholm, Goodnight Loving, Western, Shawnee. Number two, which conclusion is supported by the information on the map? All cattle trails that started in Texas led to towns in the east. After the Civil War, ranchers used the trails to bring cattle from other states to Texas. After the Civil War, several trails were added to support the growing cattle industry in Texas. Before the Civil War, increased settlement encourages Texas ranchers to find new markets for their cattle. Number three. From 1860 to 1900, which of the following most characterized society in Texas? Drilling for oil and developing an export economy, cattle drives and war with the American Indian tribes, women and African Americans fighting for civil rights, independence from Mexico and democratic government. Number four, which of the following explains a change in lifestyle of American Indian tribes after the Civil War? Many tribes experienced drought and famine. Many tribes moved westward to find buffalo. Tribes were removed to reservations. Tribes switched from, to farming after the buffalo herds disappeared. Number five, which region of Texas was most of the cotton industry located? Panhandle. Mountains and basins, coastal plains, East Texas. Based on the graph, what was the characteristic of population patterns in Texas in the years following the Civil War? Texans migrated from rural towns to urban areas. The numbers of Texans began a trend of increasing. West Texas became more populated than East Texas. Immigrants to Texas outnumbered native Texas, native born Texans. This box. By the 1870s, westward expansion of the agricultural frontier across the Great Plains had been halted by the lack of adequate fencing material to protect crops from cattle. Texas substitutes for the stones and wood fences common in the east included ditches mud finches, and thorny hedges, the most popular being those of Osage Orange or Bois d'Arc. Bois d'Arc is native to Texas and Arkansas, and export of its seed was an early enterprise in Texas. Francis T. McCallum and James Mulkey Owens, Barbed Wire Handbook of Texas, found online. Number seven, based on the information in the excerpt above, the invention of barbed wire was influenced by a need to keep pigs in pens, the use of natural fences in the past, Native Americans using bow and arrow from horseback, drawings of turtles created by farmers on the Great Plains. Number eight, how did the end of the Civil War affect the cattle industry? Much of the land used for grazing was destroyed by the war. Farmers had to move west to take land needed for grazing. The demand for beef in the east brought rapid growth to the industry. The loss in the Confederacy brought many cowboys to the cattle industry. Number nine. One way that Governor James Hogg worked to protect Texans from unfair railroad practice was by prosecuting corrupt leaders in the oil industry, working to bring an end to the range wars in West Texas supporting the creation of the Texas Railroad Commission, signing legislation that established a, the Attorney General's office. This box. When the cattle are first started, the risk of stampedes is great. They are nervous and easily frightened. The slightest noise may startle them into running. Charles Goodnight, description of a trail drive as quoted in H.T. Burton's History of the J.A. Ranch from the Southwestern Historical Quarterly. Number 10. Based on the information in the excerpt, 
A constant challenge for cowboys faced on the cattle drives included possible stampedes, criminals and bullies, surprise thunderstorms, raids from American Indian tribes. Number 11. How did the development illustrated in the graph impact Texas? Railroads were built to transport products to market. Texas created an income tax to support economic growth. The agricultural sector of Texas economy went into decline. New immigrants in Texas struggled to find good paying jobs. Number 12. Which nickname was given to the African American regiments of the U.S. Army that helped to keep the peace among Native Americans in the West after the Civil War? Ducktails, Buffalo Soldiers, Red River Rebels, White Eagle. Number 13. The development of ranching in West Texas was aided by politics, railroads, discovery of oil, the invention of barbed wire. I was the son of an American woman captured by the Comanches. I was the last chief of the Comanche. My tribe roamed West Texas. I eventually assimilated into American culture and influenced other American Indians to do so. Who am I? Iron Jacket, Peta Nakona, John Wallace, Quanna Parker. Number 15. The frontier wars of the late 1800s in Texas were caused by sharecroppers claiming public lands. Farmers used the cotton gin instead of slaves. Settlers moving to West Texas. Railroad companies building on American Indian lands. Number 16. Which statement best describes how technology affected economic development in West Texas? Barbed wire and windmills allowed farmers and ranchers to have better control of their land. Railroads allowed for faster and further transportation of goods. Railroads did not affect West Texas economically. Barbed wire helped keep American Indian tribes isolated. Number 17. One consequence of the use of barbed wire on the frontier of Texas included the introduction of rodeos, the end of the cattle drives, a decline in the number of cattle ranches, an increase in conflicts with American Indians. The Spanish word vaquero refers to a cowboy, mayor, sheriff, or soldier. The introduction of windmills allowed farmers and ranchers in West Texas to provide electricity to the region, create early air conditioning for homes, irrigate crops without having access to a river, generate wind power to run farm equipment. Number 20. Which geographic change resulted in the pattern shown in the table? Please mark B as your answer. Number 